You made it! Welcome to day one of Story A Day May 2017. You're here, you're excited, I'm not going to keep you too long, I just want to give you a little pep talk and direct you over to this morning's uh, first prompt. We're in for a wonderful month of writing and community and I encourage you to stop by the blog often. There are prompts every day, they're optional, but I do encourage you to stop by and either post on the blog or in the community's Victory Dance group to let people know how your writing is going and to cheer on other people who are either having as good a writing day as you or a better writing day than you or a worse writing day than you and to get some support from the community. Today we have a writing prompt. We're very lucky to have a writing prompt from a wonderful writer called Gregory Frost, who's also a wonderful writing teacher based here in Pennsylvania where I live. He is uh, pretty amazing actually as a teacher and if you ever get a chance to be in a class with him, uh, I would highly encourage you to look out for him at conferences, colleges, whenever you get a chance. And in the meantime, as with all of our guest prompters this year, uh, if you want to show them a little love, the best thing you can do is buy a copy of their book, re get a copy of their book from the library, leave a review on Goodreads or Amazon, uh, especially if you like it. So that's to say thank you to our guest prompters. So before we begin, I just want to say thank you for being part of this community. It makes all the difference to have people here and uh, and joining in and, and supporting each other. This year, I'm going to mention again, we were picked as one of Writer's Digest's 101 Best Websites for Writers, which I'm thrilled about, but it's all down to you. Um, you come, you make it great, and uh, you make it fun. And I've made friends through this challenge. I hope you do the same thing. So today's prompt, if you pop over to storyaday.org or .com, uh, you'll find on the front of the site a prompt by Gregory Frost, and it's all about, um, it's called uh, the, the uh, Dead Friend, and it's all about getting a postcard from a friend who you thought was dead. And not only does Gregory give us the, um, give us the prompt, he gives us a bunch of information about how to go about working with that prompt to create a complete short story. So pop on over to the site, storyaday.org, and uh, write your story, then come back and tell us how it went. Either in the comments, as I say, or in the uh, Victory Dance group, which is linked to below if you're watching the video. Um, and you can come to the site and find it if you're listening to the podcast. And then I encourage you to take a moment at some point today and reflect on how your writing day went. Did it go well? Great. What went well? What did you do that worked that you could replicate tomorrow? Did it go badly? Did you forget to write till the end of the day? Did you uh, struggle with writing too long an opening? Did you not get the story finished? Just note some of that stuff down and try and do it without judgment. You've got a whole month ahead of you to try stuff out. And I don't just mean the story writing. I mean, try out fitting creativity into your day every day. And you've got this whole month to focus on that. Even if you're not writing every day, if you can be catching story ideas every day and writing on Saturdays, whatever you're doing, dedicate this month to building creativity into your everyday life. So just note down, keep a running log of how things went, what went well, what went badly, and try not to judge any of it until you have a month's worth of data. We have four and a half weeks to go through this challenge together. And there are going to be good days and bad days. There are going to be days when you forget to write and maybe you'll hit one in before the before midnight and call it a win. Or maybe you'll just let it go and say, you know what? That's a lesson learned. I need to get up and write first thing. Or I need to have story ideas before I begin. Or I need to use the prompts or I don't need to use the prompts or maybe whatever you learn, just keep a note of it. And at the end of the month, you'll have an opportunity to see what progress you've made and what lessons you've learned over a month. And I don't want to say this to discourage you. I want to say this is going to be hard and sometimes you're going to fall short, short of your goal and that's okay. Every artist does, every scientist does, everyone who's striving to do anything falls short, short of their aspirations from time to time. It's the people who keep going who win. It's the people who keep going who get published. It's the people who keep going who create meaningful, fulfilling, happy lives for themselves, being their best self 
doing the things that make them more fully themselves. And that's what this month is about. It's not really about writing a story a day. I'm thrilled that there are going to be more short stories in the world. I love short stories. I love flash fiction. I love to read. I love to hear your perspective, your unique perspective on life and the world. I love that stuff. Gimme. But for you, this month is less about turning out 31 short stories. It can be if you're trying to create a career and you're trying to build a portfolio of stories that you can then polish up and send out and start publishing and, and all of that's good. But I do not want you to feel like a failure if you don't end up with 31 short stories or if you end up with two that are good uh, or two that are promising. This is about spending a month plunging into your creativity, rebalancing your life to incorporate creativity, finding other people who feel the same way. So I said I wasn't going to take you take up much of your time. I kind of lied. I'm going to stop now because you should be writing and I hope you will come back, tell us how today's writing went on, write that private journal or that blog post saying how you got on, keep track of how it's going and come back, come back, come back. Keep coming back every day to find a prompt, to join in the community and to be part of this crazy experiment. Keep writing and I wish for you a happy and creative and fulfilling month.